Now, Ukraine has launched missile drills near Russia's border, with which Kiev is at loggerheads over a range of issues. The military exercises involve air defense units, military drones, and S-300 ground-to-air missile systems. Ukrainian officials say the two-day military drills are going ahead as planned and in line with international law. Russia has condemned the military exercises. The Kremlin says the maneuvers violate its maritime borders. Moscow has also threatened to shoot down the missiles if they threaten its territory. Relations between the two countries have been strained since the crisis began in eastern Ukraine in 2014. The relations worsened further after Crimea rejoined Russia following a referendum in 2014. Well, to discuss that further, and I'm joined by Dr. Marcus Papadopoulos, who is the editor of Politics First, and he's joining us live now from the British capital. Um, sir, thanks for joining us here on Press TV. Um, is this innocent? Are these missile drills innocent? No, I certainly don't think they are. No uh, maneuvers involving the live firing of missiles can be categorized as innocent. I think this is a potentially very dangerous situation, and I sincerely hope that the Ukrainian government will see sense and uh, will reconsider uh, pursuing what is a very, very dangerous approach uh, to the Russian Federation. Because with the firing of uh, live missiles um, into Russian airspace, that could uh, potentially um, uh, threaten uh, commercial airliners, which means potentially uh, bringing down commercial airliners, resulting in the deaths of civilians. And so with that in mind, I really do believe that uh, if uh, the Ukrainian government uh, is serious about uh, not wanting to provoke uh, Russia, uh, then it will see sense and, then, and that it would put an end uh, to these maneuvers. However, I suspect the Ukrainian government is uh, trying to provoke, trying to goad Russia um, uh, in order to gain more uh, sympathy, more respect and more support uh, from the West. And also Kiev is uh, well aware that uh, when, within a few weeks' time there will be a new American administration. And so I think the Ukrainians are trying to keep uh, the issue um, on uh, firmly on the radar of Washington and uh, if the Russian military, military were to respond to these Ukrainian maneuvers, which they have every right to do if they impede uh, Russian uh, airspace and Russian uh, maritime waters, uh, then the Ukrainians could simply say to uh, Donald Trump when he's president or even now president-elect uh, that uh, Ukraine which is a, in quotation marks, an innocent, democratic, peace-loving country is being threatened by Russia and needs American support. Okay, so then uh, let, let's look at the, re the possible Russian reaction, if we may, because, you know, uh, we've had NATO expansionism for many years. We've had the, those, uh, you know, those, um, the, the missiles placed close to Russian borders in several countries surrounding Russia. Now we have Ukraine acting in this provocative manner. Russia's reacted, though, fairly calmly to all of the above, hasn't it, in the sense it hasn't reacted maybe in the manner that they have hoped that it would react. So should we expect such a Russian calm demeanor going forward as well? Well, you're absolutely right. Russia has been uh, unbelievably, extraordinarily tolerant of the threat to its national security. Just have a look at a map of modern day Europe, in Eastern Europe, and you will see on Russia's border, uh, it is littered with NATO member states. And of course, there is an American missile defense system, which is now active in uh, Romania and in Poland. Now, we all know how the Americans responded in 1962 when the Russians placed ICBMs in Cuba. So Russia um, must be lauded for its, um, for its uh, the, the way it's gone about not uh, reacting in an aggressive way to its threat to its national security. That said, however, if uh, the Ukrainian uh, military does fire missiles into Russian airspace, uh, for example, into the Crimea, um, or if they fire missiles um, into Russian maritime waters, then of course the uh, Russian uh, air defense systems will have every right under international law to shoot uh, those missiles down. And should uh, a Russian commercial airliner, for example, be struck by a Ukrainian missile, 
or if a, if a Russian um, uh, vessel uh, operating in Russian maritime waters is to be struck and there are casualties in both scenario, uh, then the Ukrainian government uh, would be responsible and Russia would have uh, every right legally and uh, morally to take decisive and clinical action against the Ukrainian government. Very well. We'll leave it there at that point, Dr. Pavlidopoulos. But of course, as always, we do appreciate you taking your time out to speak to us here at First TV.